This tutorial is sponsored by 3D.sk, human photo references for 3D artists and game developers. Check them out by using the link in the video description below. Right, so far so good. So what we're going to do now is create the second contact pose where the leg position will be reversed. Uh, and for that, we need to be on frame 13 because that's in between 1 and 25. Uh, and as I said earlier, we're going to be uh, animating this on 12s. So, um, you know, we started on frame 1, 12 frames later is frame 13. So that's where we need to be. And to get this started, what we're going to do is make sure we've got all the controllers selected and we're just going to set a key on 13. So now we've got three keyframes that are all identical. But now we've got that um, done, uh, what we're going to do is make sure that uh, we invert some of these things. So I'm going to select my hips controller and I'm going to invert some of the rotate values. But what I'm not going to rotate is the one for the, the leaning forward. So I can see that that's controlled by this red line, uh, which this here tells me is my X um, axis. So if I just do that, you can see rotate X is moving. So I'm going to leave that alone because I want it to stay rotating forward all the time. So what I want to do is reverse rotate Y and rotate Z. So to reverse that, so rotate Y for instance is set to 11.354. So I'm just going to put a minus before that and that will give me the opposite value. It'll rotate it that much in the opposite direction. The same for rotate Z, so that's set to minus 5.559. So I'm going to remove the minus. And what that has done for me on frame 13 is now given the opposite effect on the hip controller. The next thing to do is to get the uh, the legs swapped over because you can see now that we've made the changes to the hips, uh, the legs have gone a, a bit crazy. So they're going to need some help. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to frame one and I'm going to start with the right leg first. So this one here. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to copy the values onto the other leg on frame 13. So I'm going to right click on my, um, my timeline on frame one and I'm going to copy. And then what I'm going to do is go to frame 13 and on the other leg, which is right here, I'm going to right click, paste and paste. And you can see they are now both in the same position. So with that leg still selected, so now it's the front leg, I'm going to go back to frame one and I'm going to copy the values from here. And then I'm going to just select the left leg again go back to frame 13 and I'm going to paste those values over. And there you go. So that has now created um, another contact pose, but everything is now kind of switched. So if we play that, you can see it looks a bit wrong at this stage, but we've got the hips rotating. We've got the kind of hips moving backwards and forwards as well. So that's working well and the legs are going backwards and forwards. So what we're going to do in the next step is we'll set up our first passing pose.